We have Australia's largest range of tyre brands and sizes. Find a cheaper identical tyre locally stocked and we'll beat it. At Bob Jane t -Marts, we'll look after you. It's Easter Monday, NPL action here at Lakeside Stadium. It's the original Melbourne derby between South Melbourne FC and the Melbourne Knights. I'm your commentator, Brandon Galgano. With me today is Tim McLone. Tim, a huge match here at Lakeside. Plays it out wide again. Just lost possession though. Coming forward there. And the ball clipped over the top towards Lynch. Good touch. Matua comes across though. And with experience wins that ball and retains possession only just and ends up giving it away to Shro with the shot. Straight at Chalmers who can only palm a clear. Corner kick taken high and into the box. Headed across. Not clear just yet. And again the header. Just over the crossbar. Towards Dixon, again headed clear. Now Fashini on the turn. Was that a late challenge? Advantage says the referee. Now Casbonda looks up, great pass to Hicks. On the turn, Jason Hicks with time and space. But the shot's blocked. Look at the two defensive midfielders in Suri and Yurkovic sitting deep. And Dixon and Casbonda. So Camus over up higher. Now it's a chance here for Hicks. Bit of space in front of him. Hicks strikes. And puts it over the bar now for a goal kick. Now it's Dixon. There was a few problems in the first 25 minutes or so. Now Suri. Back out to Dixon who surges forward on that left hand side. Tim Marler chasing him down. Still Dixon though. Cuts onto his left. Looks to cross. Hicks with a bit of space. Just couldn't get the purchase required. Miskelman in the centre of the park with plenty of time. Just looks up and tries to find a bit of space and does so with Dixon's run. That's a great pass to Daniel Dixon. But what a save from Nikola Roganovic. Fantastic play there from Roganovic and from Dixon, it's got to be said. Uh, a nice ball from Miskillen, it found Dixon. Brilliant first touch. Just looks across the ground and it's played centrally towards Hicks. Eager again, doing well initially, but then slipped and lost his footing. Now Hicks across towards Cam Sober. Bit of time in the back post to strike. But a good save from Roganovic, I think. Yeah, great save from Roganovic. The referee is mentioning that it's a goal kick, so I think it came off the base of the post rather than out for a corner. Bit of space in front of him. He's got Desic on the overlap. Goes out wide to the right back, and now Suri loves to come across and just pick up the ball. Cam Sober again to Suri. Bit of space. That's a great pass into Jurkovic in behind. Oh, and across the face of goal. It was a save, I think, from Nikola Roganovic, but my word, that was a chance. What a pass from Ben Suri. Yeah, Jurkovic uh, on the end of that one. It, it hit Roganovic's leg, just went across the face of goal. South really holding on here just before half time at nil nil. Again, just too easy, you think, there, though. Getting in behind is Norton with the half clearance. Still not dealt with, though. Cam Sober on the turn. Epifano did well initially. Now he gets it away, and now Nick Bufano comes forward and tries to play that ball over the top towards Milos Lynch, who's onside, goes for the goal! It's a sensational goal for Milos Lynch! Unbelievable! Absolutely sensational from the South Melbourne number nine! And they have the lead here against the run of play! And who else but Milos Lynch? Can you believe it, Brandon? It looked like a few times we were going to go down. Bit of magic from Epifano. Beautiful ball over the top. And then Milos Luch. Have you ever seen him score a big goal like that? He's off and running now. That is one of the goals of the season for Milos Luch. He's been known over the years as more of a goal box merchant. In and around the area. But my word, it was a fair way out there. And we said he hadn't scored a goal yet from open play. Well, he's certainly got one now. And what a goal it was as Melbourne Knights look to come forward here on the left-hand side through Dixon. He'll have a strike. Big moment here. It's Cahill who strikes it. Good save. Cam Sober there on the follow-up. Flicks it into the middle. Rakanovic with the punch. Just see the confidence back there for the South Melbourne shot stopper. Brilliant bit of work by Rakanovic. And a chance to break. 2v1 at 
Bufano in behind, Purcell covering ground well. Sam Bufano cuts inside, Purcell did well enough, and Bufano across, chance for Luric, good tackle, again, saved there by Chalmers, still Marcus Schroen in there, onto his left, chance to maybe shoot, but the Melbourne Knights defence have backtracked well. And Monopolis is fouled according to the referee. Wow. So it will be a free kick on the edge of the area. So many chances there on at the end of this first half. Epifano, he broke away. He just couldn't get a shot away, but it uh, fell to Schroen. He got the shot off. It was a good save by Fraser Chalmers. Marcus Schroen standing over it as well. It looks like Schroen is going to be the one to strike it. What a talk about a smashing grab. Marcus Schroen buries the free kick into the bottom corner and South Melbourne lead by two goals to nil. Well, if you paid your 10 bucks to get in, Brandon, you money well spent. Two sensational goals. I thought Epifano was going to take the free kick, but Schroen came in, bamboozled the Melbourne Knights wall, bamboozled Fraser Chalmers, and can you believe it? We, did. we lead 2 nil after an indifferent first half. Two mag magic moments. I mentioned in the first half, Tom Cahill, he's a difficult customer. He just uh, fights and scraps for every ball. And um, as Epifano comes down the wing. Well, that's a great ball from Epifano to find Milos Leach, who turns and volleys! Oh, well, maybe from this angle, it didn't look like it was too far away. Certainly, we were looking to play that over a few times tonight. As the ball's flicked on, now it's Marcus Schroen. Under pressure from Miskelen, does well, wins the ball, Schroen! Off the post, cuts back again, and cleared away! Um, well, that really should have been game set and match there from Marcus Schroen! Right before the half-time break, and it's Daniel Dixon who's standing over it. He does have a go, but... Ball zips over the bar. Almost kicked another goal of the year contender. Uh, yeah, we look, we look pretty good early on here. Miller, finds Monopolis on the turn there. Suri chasing it down, Marcus Schroen, bit of space on the left, but the shot didn't really have the power to trouble Fraser Chalmers. Football, you see confidence here, is certainly lifted and players now just a little bit more relaxed, as we said, we saw it was a little bit nervy in that first half. As now it's Miller into the box, can he cut back, looks to go into the area, Matt Miller, he's done it sensationally well and wins the corner. Brilliant work from Matt Miller, left Ben Suri for dead. Dangerous area here, Dixon. Goes for it! Oh, and off the crossbar! Out of nothing, really. It's all it took for South Melbourne to get themselves back in the game. So, 40 up. Cahill. Finds Dixon. And has moved, as we said, into that more central position. Almost playing as a de defensive midfielder now. Cam Sober finds Hicks. Tripped on the ball. Cam Sober with the shot! And it's deflected now for a corner. Finds Desi, who was three players running at him in the end, and Forney's just pipped him in. And now Miller plays it forward, Schroen. He was advanced, but he was in his own half as the ball was played over the top, so he's on slide. Schroen into the area, he'll want to cut it side, and it goes himself. Good save, still not cleared, and Bufano. Now to Fashidi. Gets it out to Monopolis here. The hour mark, and. Uh... A short corner played here to that man Zadvorny. Zadvorny here, bit of time to size up across, a good ball as well. Cahill up in the air, Rikanovic did just enough again to claw that ball out for another corner. Dealt with by Marla though, who initially won it, then lost it, then gets it back again, goes back to Rikanovic, who clears. Now headed down again, Fano. Now Fashini, run of Norton on the... Left hand side, that's where he looks to go. Keepers a long way on the side and cleans up for Norton. And that is a free kick. And a yellow card, it looks like it's well for Fraser Chalmers, right on the edge of the box. It didn't look like it was in the area. And he was in territory that he didn't look quite comfortable with there, the goalkeeper. Well, he's done that a number of times, Chalmers. He's come out and, and maybe misjudged the length of the ball. And he absolutely annihilated Norton just on the edge of the box there. I thought for a second it, it looked like a nasty challenge. They're calling the physio over, I think. And it looked like a really nasty challenge that he caught Brad Norton with. And uh... now at the final with the switch of play. Purcell did well to win it though. Yurkovic again. Probably maybe a straight elbow there 
with Fashini, who yells at him to get up. Now Norton does well to find a bit of space, then just clips it high into the middle. Mill up in a room, but that's less now in the box. Shooting channel opens! Good save from Fraser Chalmers, and then an air sweep from Brazil means it will be a corner kick. He's getting a standing ovation from the South supporters, and so he should. Well, love to be on these parts. Lee Monopolis, a few very good years here. Well, oh, eager. On the header, went to ground, got up and got the ball again. Kale did well though and switches play out to Juricic. Cuts inside, Cam Sober back into Juricic, into the box. Cuts back, real chance for Hicks. Great block again and cleared away. Well, that opened up for half a second. But Jason Hicks, so for the first time today, inches away. And, and of course that wonderful free kick that he scored in the first half is getting a standing ovation. That was the trademark from him. So fantastic performance from Marcus Schroen. Probably just bringing him off so he doesn't get a second yellow. He played on the edge all day today. Fantastic battle with Jurkovic. Pretty much intentionally. And that is full time. A massive three points here for South Melbourne FC at the Lakeside Stadium. It was a very, very difficult first half. They should have been behind by two or three goals on another day. That result puts South Melbourne in equal eighth position on 11 points. And depending on the result tonight, could potentially be only one win behind the top six. And after a very disappointing start to the season with four losses in the first nine games, that's not a bad result. Yeah, we're very happy to get three points uh, in a big derby against Melbourne Knights. Uh, obviously, love playing them. And um, you know, today we've uh, we've come into the game with only two league wins, so it was great to get another three points uh, at home in front of our fans. You've had a very uh, disrupted start to the season with an injury in the first round, and then you've slowly worked your way back into the team. How glad are you now that you're part of a defence that uh, kept a clean sheet today? Yeah, look, I thought uh, the back four, but all across the the park, uh, the boys put in a big shift. Um, and we speak about it not just being a defensive effort, but uh, everyone and, uh, and it's the squad as well getting our training habits right during the week. So I'm very happy to, uh, to be part of uh, the starting team again, but uh, most importantly uh, that we're back to, to winning ways. Now, I believe the entire defence picked up yellow cards, including one on the bench who didn't actually come on the field. Was that a, a pre-match tactic, perhaps, against the Knights in the dark? <laughs> no, look, I, it definitely wasn't premeditated, but, uh, but derbies get like that, you know. Uh, tackles flying from both sides. They put a few in as well and picked up a few yellows. But uh, I'd say it's, it's probably more a show of our commitment uh, and desperation to, to win and get three points here. First of all, Milos, very simple question. You love playing against the Melbourne Knights, don't you? Yeah, it's been a good few years against them. I um, always seem to get in the score sheet. Um, yeah, it's good. It's a really important win today, um, being the derby and all. And uh, yeah, we're really happy to be at home again and get the three points. Now talk us through the goal that you scored just coming up to half time against the run of play, it's fair to say. Talk us through exactly what happened from your perspective. Oh, we we're causing him trouble in behind and um, I knew if I get a chance in behind that um, you know I'll, I'll take it and I just saw the keeper come out and I just thought I'd give it a go my left foot and it paid off so you know nine times out of ten probably wouldn't pay off but yeah, I was a bit fortunate today which was good and uh, yeah just happy to get three points. And finally you must be very relieved as well uh, first goal in open play as well in the league um, because you've scored a four penalties, I think it is. So it must be great for you to finally break that this season. Yeah, it's good. It's been it's been tough, a uh, bit tough start to year with the goals and all that. But hopefully, you know, this uh, sets me on my way, and um, hopefully, I can score plenty more goals throughout the year, and to just, just to help the team to uh, get into the finals and um, push through now. So as long as the boys get three points, and and, and as a club, um, that's the most important thing. Yeah. How good was it as well personally for you to, uh, to step up and score a free kick? I know quite a few supporters uh, talk about the fact we don't really score many free kicks. Yeah, I mean, it's always good to score no matter what, whether it's a free kick or an open play. Um, it's something that I practice a little bit and, and uh, try and add to my game as well. And I was just lucky uh, today it came off. So um, that was a great feeling. And now we've got a stretch of games at Lakeside. How good has it been back here? And um, are you expecting us to pick up? as many points or maximum points as possible in the next few weeks? Yeah, I mean, we didn't have a great start, but it's tough being on the road for uh, seven, seven games in a row. So to be back here, um, you know, for the next 11 out of 13 games, whatever it is, um, 
teams will, will find it very tough to, to come here and, and pick up points because we see it as a bit of a, a bit of a fortress and um, as you can see we've already uh, won two from two here so hopefully we can uh, keep that going and uh, pick up more points and climb up the table to, to where we belong. Chris, uh, for probably 43 minutes uh, in the first half we were looking um, it was looking like uh, it was going to be a massacre one way, but then all of a sudden we changed things. Are you satisfied with the performance today? Oh, no, look, I think we were, we were probably a bit nervous. I thought we started off well, 15 minutes or so. I thought we were the better side, but then for half an hour, I don't think they were better than us. I just thought we were very poor at times, gave the ball away in poor areas, didn't, didn't put two or three passes together. Um, but probably that's where our looks changed a bit today. Melosh scored a great goal from open play, which is the first one he scored this year. Uh, Two good goals, two cracking finishes, and then the second half probably a um, little bit of bad luck. You know, we've hit the post and probably could have had two or three more on the counter attack. So I thought the boys fought it out well. We know what the derbies are like, uh, but the other thing is we're at home as well, and that that does do a lot. You know, our support behind us. Um, you know, the crowd do lift us on. They're like our twelfth man. So um, you know, there's there's a lot of good factors to, to come from it. But the fact is, you know, everyone worked hard today and um, put in a good performance, and uh, I thought we did the three points in the end. We've got another couple of home matches coming up in the league and, and, and then in the cup as well. There's, this is the time now to really get down and uh, develop some consistency and picking up a lot of points at home. Yeah, well, certainly. I mean, we're, we're looking forward to training back here again and, uh, and having that consistent run. You know, we're out there on the ground each week and that's going to make a big difference to us. The confidence is there with the squad and um, I think, uh, you know, we'll turn things around from now.